Hey hello guys this is Manha Gupta here back with another video and this time it's the full review of Resurrection Remix as promised to you so let's begin with this review and see is this room really worth a try Now let's first of all start with the battery backup of this room Now let's go to the battery section now uh, here you can see the battery backup it's around 69% approx and 17 hours are left which includes a very low screen on time which is around 51 minutes but a lot of background activities like uh, calling, browsing, phone idle, benchmarking, whatsapp, hike and further this network. Now as compared to Cyanogen 14.1, in my case the battery backup is not that good as compared to the Cyanogen 14.1 which I got. But few of my friends like Anuj Yadav has sent me screenshots of their battery backup and you can see it's 5 hours 57 minutes around 6 hours and you can see there are a few flashing going on in between. The screen time is 6 hours so which is very very good. Further we received mini screenshot containing almost 8 hours of battery backup and other stuff. But in my case my usage is LTE, 4G all the time, music, on to benchmarking, a bit of gaming, whatsapp, browsing and all that normal usage. So I would say the battery backup is okay for my case but as I seen as I have seen the battery backup of other people using the same room I think there is something wrong with my flashing. You can see the Google Assistant is working really fine. I'm working right now if that's what you will. Okay Google, can you say hi to my friends? So you can see the Google Assistant is working really fine. So there are no no so ever lags in compared to this Google Assistant. Further the memory consumption, you can see there are a lot of background progresses which are currently running. And the free RAM is about 1261 MB which is good. Now the performance we had done the onto to benchmarking in the earlier video so you can check it out there but on an average the memory consumption is 1.7 GBs which is not really that good compared to other ROMs but yeah it is okay so now the memory consumption is also good because of there are a lot hell lot of features in this custom ROM you can see that in the previous video that we have uploaded so there will be a card up there right now you can also click on that so we can say that the multitasking performance of this room is quite good compared to other rooms like MIUI. So we can say it's actually good, not the worst but not the best also. So now let's go to the camera review. So the first thing you will see here is camera. Here you can see in my case camera is working and there are a lot of issues with the camera this camera is a bit moody it works sometimes and the other time it doesn't now in the stock camera app we can face a bug which is the video recording bug though the camera is also buggy here you can see this time it is recording a video but most of the time it doesn't there is that force close camera has stopped error so this time I don't know how this recorded a video. This is the first time it worked. For those who are not liking this, I would suggest you to go to the Play Store and download this footage camera which is really good and performs a bit better than any of the other camera apps that are present for Cyanogen 14.18. So we can see the camera is a bit buggy though it is okay for users like me which who are not using camera a lot for clicking pics though this works many times and a few times this gives an error. So we can ignore that 
because we are enjoying this Sanogen 14.1 which is no good 7.1 on this beast. Now let's go to the gaming performance here we today we are going to play Asphalt 8. Yeah, this time I have practiced a bit. Now let's see how I do in this gameplay. You can see there is no lags as of now. Zip. That was a very bad game. Eh? So you can see the gaming performance was also good, quite good. For one race, we dropped around three percent or around two percent of battery. So this is good. Now let's talk about theming. Here you can see the substream themes are not working on this custom room because of this no OMS tweak has been no OMS commit has been added in this room as of now though they are waiting for the CMTE to come so there is no option to theme this room currently so this room is quite good enough for daily usage now let's test this Geo4G You can note one thing here, there is no option to video call in this custom room by default though we can hope that this option soon will be added in all CM based custom rooms. Though the Geo network works really fine. The Geo. Marathi, Sachi. So you can see the voice quality is also good. Though there are a few instance where we can uh, hear our own voice back but this is not a big issue and can be uh, can be solved easily the final verdict of this room from my side would be 
it's a very good ROM to try. The Android version is 7.1, which is on all the Cyanogen, all the other ROMs that we tried, like Cyanogen 14.1. There were no lags, or we can say a quite a few lags when we are multitasking a lot. So the performance of this ROM is good enough, much better than MIUI, but if you use your camera a lot and if you want to do video calling this room is not for you neither is Cyanogen 14.1 and if you are on Cyanogen 14.1 I would request to wait for another update of this room because there are a few bugs in this room like the flashlight bug which is in almost all the rooms it's working now I don't know how this is also actually moody it works sometimes and other time it doesn't further is this live display this is also a bit buggy in my case there are a few users who are reporting that it is not at all buggy but I am telling you what I have faced so this is all from my side I guess now the final verdict of this ROM will be the battery backup is quite good, not awesome. In my case, Cyanogen 14.1 gave a bit better battery backup than this custom ROM for me. Now, the other things that are different from Cyanogen 14.1 are a lot of customization options. So you can check my earlier video to see all the customization options that I found useful enough to explain. The link will be up in, down in the description and up in the cards also. You can check that. Now for few users asking fingerprint is working fine or not. This is I'm using this FPC fingerprint sensor. Hardware is FPC sensor. So in my case it is working. For those who like MIUI 8 and the UI of this. And, and the UI of MIUI they can peacefully stay on MIUI because it's very less buggy and is almost stable enough but this room is also stable but for users like who are very much involved in various important activities this may land you somewhere in between like the screen will not wake up there are a few issues like that so this is not actually fully stable there is no option to do a video call that you get on MIUI 8. So Volti is working perfectly, Cyanogen 14.1 and RR 5.8. If we have to compare these two rooms, I would suggest you to choose Resurrection Remix because it is much it is it because it is having a lot and lot more of customization options. But if you don't like to customize your ROM a lot, then Cyanogen 14.1 is for you. So I will like to end up this review here only. So do drop your suggestions in the video for improvements and do comment on this custom ROM. Thank you for watching this video and do like, do subscribe to our channel and do check out other awesome videos. Thank you for watching this video again. Bye. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.